Uh, DJ, how long have you been a part of the Delaware River Sojourn? Myself and Troy, um, one of the steering committee members and uh, the uh, registrar, web kind of designer, um, have been with the Delaware River Sojourn since 2009. We actually have been a part of the safety team and actually were asked to come aboard to help kind of reorganize and revitalize the, the Delaware River Sojourn. So um, in 2009-10, we uh, revamped their website. We worked with uh, to get the registration online and started kind of organizing this in a way where we got vendors, the same vendors. We were using Northeast Wilderness Experience and this campground, which is great. And um, we also uh, organized um, or worked with Conrad Kitchen to, to bring him on board to provide food for the trip. So it made the trip actually a lot easier and simpler because we weren't using multiple vendors. We were just pulling in some local people around the area to work with us. Um, and in partnership with the National Park Service and with the uh, National Community Safety Patrol, the Upper Delaware Preservation Coalition, and many other, I would say, uh, DRBC, and the list goes on and on. You can actually check our website to see those. But um, we have basically come up with the ultimate staycation. Uh, people come out for a week or one day, um, sometimes two or three. It's great. We, ha we love our through trippers. I think this year we have 23. And uh, we basically do this amazing trip. Our planning starts right after the trip is done. We kind of give ourselves a break, but we have a monthly call every year or every month. And um, we kind of prep for this throughout the entire year. Oh, wow. And then um, we, we spend a lot of time just getting everything set together. The day plans are pulled together by multiple groups. And we don't travel the river contiguously. We actually start out in either the upper section or somewhere in the middle, in and around the area. Like right now, we're in the Calicoon, Hancock, Damascus area, Nairsburg. And then we'll be heading down south um, towards the uh, Driftstone through the Delaware Water Gap parks down there, which is awesome. And each day planner plans their section and they actually work with I, I, the vendor or the bus companies or whatever we need to plan by getting snacks, getting water, providing just the ultimate safe trip for people. Yeah. Perfect. And what does being part of the Delaware River sojourn and being on the Delaware River mean to you? Being a part of the Delaware River sojourn means that I get to be a part of a family of people that care, a family of people and a group of people that actually um, are stewards for not only the watershed, but they're stewards for just outdoor recreation and, and, and group being together, groups being together. Uh, we're stewards for just healthy living, and, and having fun outdoors and life. So it's a, it's amazing to be able to actually be with like-minded people again, which Absolutely. is awesome, especially after 2020 mm. and, and beyond. And I'm, I'm loving the fact that today was very simple. We asked for, I mean, I didn't really even have to ask. I stepped on the bus and I said, hey, could everybody make sure they have on their mask? We have kids on the trip. We wanna make sure that everyone is safe. And this is an, an amazing experience for everyone. Being, I didn't have to blink an eye. One person says, I just don't have one through her mask and everything was great so that's the type of trip and that's the type of people that we are we absolutely love it. We yeah love it. and you can definitely feel it throughout the energy as soon as you come across this campground it's just filled there were 87 people yesterday and 103 today not including Correct. safety team right Correct. actually that does include safety team there okay were 96 total for yesterday with the safety team and then 104 today actually, wow which was awesome and Troy and I, which we normally don't get to paddle, we got out on the river today, which was awesome. So it made it a lot of fun. We used to do it all the time, but through organization and just having to run around, we were always kind of hopping down to the next thing to be ahead of it. Mm -hmm. But right now we're on sojourn time. So we're just taking it easy <laughs> and people show up. We, we make sure they have a great time, a great stay. And um, thank, you for, thank you for the sun and the stars and the moon and the river. <laughs>